Hey everybody, I'm Michelle from Cruising with the Coleman's and today we are going to show you a 2025 Coachman Apex 190 RBS. Before we even go inside, let me tell you a couple things about the outside. First, look at that door behind me. It's an all black door and no longer do we have that pebbled frosted glass. You can see through it and you can buy an upgraded slim shade to cover it up for privacy. Let's also check out a couple other things. First of all, we've got the place for your griddle. It'll come with a griddle and a place for you to do some cooking outside. We've got a beautiful pass-through storage space. There's a charge controller in here. You can see that cast iron griddle plate in there. This rig comes with a one 200 watt solar panel. So you're ready to upgrade to lithium. You're ready to get off the road and get going. On the back, we are prepped for a ladder so you can have access to your roof. We're prepped for a backup camera. And of course, we have our spare tire. Right here, new for 2025, tankless water heaters. Good job, Coachman Apex. We're really proud of you for going to tankless water heaters. Let's check out inside. Notice right away when we walk inside those solid stairs, they had them last year. I still love them. I think they're really great because it doesn't ha you don't have that bounce when you're walking in the rig. Of course, when you have kids, it's always nice when you have bathroom access right away when you come in. So the door to this rig is closer to the back, which gets you right into cleaning off kids in the bathroom. Uh, this doesn't have a tub, but it does have a little bit of a lip in the shower. So we've got a nice wide shower space, shower curtain, a smaller sink, but there's plenty of storage in here. Cabinet underneath, cabinet above, and then over here I've got four cabinets. One, ooh, love those magnet locks. Two, three, and four. This is huge, tons of storage. Love that there are some hooks, place for your towel, um, because there's a tankless water heater, there's also a place in here for you to set the temperature of your hot water. As we move into the kitchen area, we have a lot of countertop space. We've got the refrigerator over here, dinette, and then behind my cameraman is where you've got your bed. So looking at the kitchen, we've got a big farmhouse house sink. They had these last year. I love them. I think that it's so smart. I cannot wait um, till we have a rig with a big farmhouse sink. We've got plenty of cabinetry up, up here. I love that they are really thinking about storage because we need that. Those magnet locks are great, but they're hard to get open on camera. Uh, got a nice big cabinet here. Two drawers. We've got, oh, let's see, we've got a total of four drawers and three more cabinets down below. And then a two burner stove. I, I like the two burner stove. I, leave a comment and let us know what you think. I think the two burner stove is smart because you don't typically have more than two going on. At least we've never had more than two going on in our, our, our rig. And I need, the more, I need more countertop space. Okay, so we got two burner stove. We've got a microwave. And then over here, we've got a 12 volt fridge. So in order to keep this running, you need to have that lithium upgrade but lots of storage space in here. Oh my gosh, look how deep this is. I mean, you can get ice cream and frozen pizza in there. This booth dinette will convert into a bed. So this rig would sleep four people, two, two littles and two adults. We've got cabinets underneath here um, that you, for access to storage. And then let's move into the bedroom, cameraman. In the bedroom, we've got standard storage, Okay. Notice there's no carpet anywhere in this rig. That's new for 2025. We've got a regular outlet and a USB outlet over here. We've got a cabinet with a shelf in it that will come out so that you can um, either use the shelf or have it sitting at the bottom if you don't want to use the shelf. That's a really nice upgraded feature. These two cabinets go all the way across. So you've got plenty of storage and room for four people in this rig. Right above me, I can get to sleep under the stars. You may have seen this in 2024 if you are following along, but if you haven't been, this is a great feature on the Coachman Apex Nanos. The Stargazer has both a blackout blind and it has a screen. So you take your pick as to which one you want. And if you forget to close the Stargazer, 
it actually is set up that it'll close itself. Don't forget to close it though. <laughs> but the Stargazer allows you to look at the stars while you're uh, in bed and have a little bit of the great outdoors inside. Thanks for taking a look at this 2025 190 RBS. We hope to see you out at all the shows this winter. And if you're looking at this after winter, let us know below which Apex you decided to buy. Thanks for watching.